Say, what's brewing around here? Cut. Well, how did you like that? It's a pretty big story. The question is, where do we begin? Perhaps it might be a good idea to start right at the top. I wasn't making beer, I'd be doing something else uh, to basically fulfill this like creative itch that I have. I think there's a vibrant culture here that can make the city into something even greater than it is now. If you find something that you really want to do, get the ball rolling to a point that you can't really stop it. If I'm going to be doing this, I need to do something unique. I need to make a beer that doesn't exist, you know, and put it out there and just see what happens. We put all of our eggs in one basket and rolled the dice and it was the height of the recession and you know, we would be really lucky if we grew a little tiny bit and we grew 35% that year so it really was the, was the right move. I wish the hell I'd done it like two years earlier, so <laughs> live and learn. This is a kind of a curious building. It was built around the turn of the last century. Uh, it's the first fireproof building south of New York. A lot of folks ask, where do you actually make your beer? And I tell them, everything's right on Charles Street, you know, and they don't understand that there's this huge area of fermentation and conditioning tanks way down in the basement. That's one of the really exciting things about the home brewing world is how like willing people are to share their ideas and just tricks of the, of the trade. Your instinct as an entrepreneur is to bail out. I mean, there's just, the odds are stacked against you. It's really a daunting task but eventually you reach a point where you just can't really look back and, um, and, and that's, where, that's where you gotta push it.